In this video, we're talking about very exciting tool in Batch Guru, Native Exporter. Native Exporter will export native files out of relativity. Let me show you how it works. We'll go to a Batch Guru Batch and we will configure it with a name and a saved search of the native of the documents for which native files we want to export out. And lastly, we'll set up how do we want to name these native files. And you could pick any field you want. You can use control number, production number. You can use MD5 hash value. You know, as long as that number is unique, it'll work just fine. Next, we're going to save this and we're going to run it. And once it's done, we will go to native exporter pickup window. And in this pickup window, we'll see that an entry was generated. This is the batch we just run. We're going to click on it. And now we're going to click on this zip file, which we'll click on open. And we'll see that we have a zip file that contains all the native files for all the documents in our safe search. So what are the uses for this tool? Well, as you see, we were able to do a native file export without using desktop client. Uh, we zipped everything up and put it into a pickup window. And what we can do is once we put something in the pickup window, we can leave it there for future use. Another way to use this tool is for you to run an export and put your files in a pickup window. But then people who need those files can have access to just the pickup window part of Batch Guru where they can go in and grab these files as needed. And what you would do is run the actual tool to generate the zip file and save it for them. So in a way, they're not able to do it, but they have access to a pickup window and you actually run in the tool and save in files for them. A couple of warnings here. Using this tool will increase size of a workspace because we are attaching that zip file to a document. Um, so because of that, I suggest not to use this on excessively large documents. And, you know, it'll work fine for small exports and so on. But if you're going to export a large production, you definitely want to use desktop client or integration points. And because this is a um, IO heavy tool, you do want to do a little bit of testing to see how fast it runs on your server and your environment. Maybe if you're on a VM, this tool will run a little bit slower because we're zipping things up. Um, again, just so you could set expectations for uh, for your users and for your environment, just so you know how long things should take. Obviously, different environments will work differently. And that's a quick overview of a native file exporter. Thank you for watching.